Hey YouTubers, welcome back. Uh, I know you guys have been asking to see what's going on in the shop there. Well, I'm painting, as you know, I've been painting for the last while, and I've got a buddy of mine here. This is uh, Craig, a friend of mine. He's an English bloke. How you doing, all? He's uh, been helping me paint the ceiling. It's a big job. So now he's putting a bit of mud over here. This is where my old stove was. That's the hole right there. I'm gonna put a, uh, a trap door to get in the ceiling over there. And he's a professional painter and decorator. And you might just end up seeing him on YouTube in the future. Is that right? You're gonna start oh, your own yeah. channel? Yeah, Absolutely. that's great, man. Yeah, anything to help. So I'll do the shop tour today as well. As you can see on the far side over there is where I'm renovating the most. I built a countertop over there that needs to be updated a bit. I need to paint that, put some plywood on it and a metal top. The reason why I'm going with white paint is because it gives you a lot more light when you're working on stuff. And you can save on your lighting bill as well. I'm going to try to replace some of these lights here with fluorescent lights that work in the cold. And if I move over to this side of the shop, it's a bit of a mess right now. That's because I'm renovating and I haven't had time to clean. But everything there is pretty well the same as it was before. So where Craig's standing on the ladder, that's where my old wood stove was. That's really opened up the work area. It's much better without it there when you want to work on that count over here. There's just nothing in the way. And my professional chainsaw chain sharpen over here will go on the other side of the shop on this counter over there. So it's going to be dedicated to chainsaw sharpening in that corner. Where it is now, it's in the way. I only put it on the 2x4 in the vise because I didn't want to put it permanently there. Like I said on the countertop on the other side of the shop. It's going to be permanent and it's going to be bolted right to the countertop, not in a vise. So it was a big job to do the ceiling, especially the mudding. I've even done a bit of work for Craig in the past. Oh. So I did learn a few tips from him. <laughs> yeah. Don't make a mess, man. <laughs> Doing my best not to. And in the corner over there, that's my parts cabinet. That's all full of new parts. And on top, I keep boxes with used stuff. Like, for example, chainsaws that have blown up motors and extra parts, and I label them all for easy reference in the future. And underneath this countertop here, I'm going to make another shelf and straighten that out and paint it all up so it looks uh, clean. And here's the new wood stove you guys saw previously. Right beside the toolbox, and that's all up to code now. I'm glad I got that. There's way much more heat coming out of this stove than my old stove. That's because it's airtight and not all the heat's going out the chimney. And inside here is my bathroom. It's not the prettiest bathroom, but it sure comes in handy in the garage. And at the front of the shop where I come in here, I've got a shelf up here. That really declutters the garage because I can put like a whole bunch of stuff up there and it's easy to get at if I need them. So this whole area is going to be painted white and I'm not quite sure how I'm going to renovate that yet. If I'm going to put shelves or what, I'll kind of decide that later. Okay, here we are a few days later, and I'll show you the ceiling now that it's completely done. So here's the ceiling. It's got two coats of white ceiling paint, and it sure brightens up things in here. As I mentioned in the beginning of the video, I'm getting a guy, a customer of mine actually, that's going to bring me some fluorescent lighting, and I'm going to replace every light in here. And we didn't go too crazy on making the ceiling very smooth, because it's just a shop. So basically he just taped and mudded it up to fire code and to seal up the cracks so I don't lose too much heat. And we just basically painted it. That's it. And we used the flat ceiling paint so it doesn't show the defects too much. And it's really nice to have that extra light in here because the white paint reflects a lot of light and it will make your shop a lot brighter. So here's Craig. He's all done the job. And in the meantime, we created him a YouTube channel. It's called The Muskoka Painter. He's just getting started. He wants to make videos to help people out. So what I'll do is I'll put the link to his channel underneath this video, The Muskoka Painter. Go check him out. There's only one video there right now of him painting the shop. But like I said, he's going to be adding more videos. So make sure to subscribe because he's a professional painter. I'm sure you're going to learn something if you watch his videos. So there he is again. And by the way, he's in the market for a camera right now. So... It's going to be a little while yet before there's a lot of videos on his uh, channel. And uh, so what do you have to say now, Craig? Well, I'm just uh, saying to, to all the YouTubers out there, stay tuned and look out for some more videos, as Don mentioned. I'm going to be 
concerning ourselves with different projects. We've got painting, obviously, but we have other things we can uh, discuss, staining, clear coating, and there's a lot of specialty products out there, and tools, and we're going to be looking into those, what applications are best and what materials are best for your particular projects. But if you have any input, if you have any questions or comments, feel free to drop a comment that I can make videos about in the future. So check out my channel and be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time. Anyways guys, thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.